Okay, this is part of a series of videos where we explore when a natural number n is expressible as the sum of squares. So we've wrapped up the question of when is n expressible as the sum of two squares, and in this video we're going to move on to when is n uh, expressible as a sum of three squares. And so, uh, and it turns out we have a single result here. We don't need to build it up with lemmas or anything. And it is the following. So if we let capital N be a natural number, then N is expressible as a sum of three square integers. If and only if N is not of this form. So it's not of the form four to the M times eight N plus seven. So that form seems like it comes out of nowhere, but that's what you get for this sum of three square integers theorem. Okay. Okay, so unfortunately, one direction of this is pretty hard, and so we're not going to prove it. And it turns out this reverse direction is quite difficult, and it was proved by Legendre. in uh, 1798. So unfortunately, we're not going to do that direction of this proof, but we will do the other direction of the proof. So uh, let's get started with that. So let's go in this direction, and we're going to prove it by the contrapositive. So by contrapositive. So let's unpack what it takes to prove this by contrapositive. So that means if n is of this form, so if n equals 4m and then times 8n plus 7, then n is not expressible as a sum of three squares. So um, that's how we're going to uh, do this direction of this proof. Okay, and we're going to in fact do this by induction on M. So uh, we'll use induction on M. In other words, the exponent of 4 here. Okay, so let's get started. So we'll first look at the base case, which is the case when M equals 0. And we'll notice that in this case, we get n equals 8n plus 7. So that is congruent to 7 mod 8. And now the next thing that we want to notice is that um, of the possibilities for perfect squares, um, there are only certain congruences mod 8 that are attainable. So, and we'll look at that with a certain, with a, with a chart. And that chart will be A, and then A squared, and we're doing all of this mod 8. So that means we need to look at A is congruent to 0, plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 3, and then finally 4. Okay, so now if a is 0, then a squared is obviously 0 mod 8. If a is plus or minus 1, then it's obviously 1 mod 8. If a is plus or minus 2, then it's obviously 4 mod 8. So now if a is plus or minus 3 mod 8, then a squared is 9 mod 8, but 9 is congruent to 1 mod 8. And then finally, if a is congruent to 4 mod 8, then that means a squared is congruent to 16 mod 8. But now notice 16 is congruent to 0 mod 8. So if we look at this, the only perfect squares mod 8 are the numbers 0, 1, and 4. But now notice what we need to do is take x squared plus y squared plus z squared and add it up to get something that's congruent to 7 mod 8. But that's impossible if we are only allowed to use exactly three numbers and we have to use them from this list. It's impossible to get to 7 mod 8. So that means this is never congruent to 7 mod 8. Um, in other words, n is not expressible. Okay, great. So I'll clean up the board and then we'll get going with the rest of this proof.
Okay, now we're ready to continue on. So at this point in the proof, we've shown that if n is equal to 8n plus 7, then it is not expressible as a sum of three squares. And so that was the base case for our induction hypothesis, or sorry, for our proof by induction. So now we want to make an induction hypothesis, which is... Suppose uh, for some k bigger than or equal to zero, um, we know that n, which is equal to 4 to the k um, times 8n plus 7, is not expressible as a sum of three uh, squares. So let's suppose we know that. And now the next thing that we're going to do is uh, start with the induction case. So in other words, um, we're going to do this by way of contradiction. So by way of contradiction, suppose that we can write 4k plus 1 times 8n plus 7 as x squared plus y squared plus z squared. So we've written it as a sum of three squares and then um, with x, y, and z natural numbers. So now notice the following. So notice that 4 divides the left-hand side of this equation, which tells us that 4 must also divide the right-hand side of this equation. And a little bit less strict is that the right-hand side of this equation is even. And so now look, let's look at this. The right-hand side of these, this equation is a sum of three terms. So in order for a sum of three terms to be even, we have two possibilities. We have the possibility where all of them are even or exactly two of them are odd. So that means x, y, and z are either all even or two are odd. So what we're going to show is that it's impossible for two of them to be odd. And we'll say, let's suppose that x is one of the odd ones. So we'll write it as 2x0 plus 1. y is another one of the odd ones. So that's 2y0 plus 1. And then let's say z is the even one. So that's 2 times z0. And now let's calculate x squared plus y squared plus z squared. And you can FOIL that out and put it all together and notice that you get the following. You get 4 times x naught squared plus x naught plus y naught squared plus y naught plus z naught plus 2. Okay, but now notice all of that is congruent to 2 mod 4. But the right, sorry, the left-hand side of this equation is, con is a congruent to 0 mod 4. So that's a contradiction. In other words, this is impossible, which tells us that all three of x, y, and z are even. Okay, great. Now we're in a good spot. I'll erase the board and then we'll move on from there. Okay, so this is where we are so far. We uh, showed that if n is equal to 8n plus 7, it is not expressible. That was like our base case for induction. And then we also made this induction hypothesis that was um, 4k, 4 to the k times 8n plus 7 is not expressible, but then by way of contradiction, we suppose the next one was expressible. So in other words, we have this 4k plus 1 um, times 8n plus 7 equals x squared plus y squared plus z squared. And uh, we also showed that all of those x, y, and z have to be even. So now the next thing that we're going to do is set x equal to 2x1, y equal to 2y1, and then z equal equal to 2z1, which we're able to do because they're even. And now notice this turns x squared plus y squared plus z squared into 4 times the quantity x1 squared plus y1 squared plus z1 squared. But on the other hand, that's equal to 4 to the k plus 1 times 8n plus 7. Okay, great. But if we look at this middle part of the equation in the extreme right-hand side of the equation, we can divide a 4 off and we will get x1 squared 
plus y1 squared plus z1 squared equals 4 to the k 8n plus 7 which is an expression of n as a sum of three squares, but our assumption was that n was not expressible as a sum of three squares. So that leads us to a contradiction um, and finishes the proof.